I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a post for Sexual Futurist. It's Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and I want to concentrate on the futurist part of Sexual Futurist today. Guys, I was reading up on the definition of sexual assault, and it is pretty nebulous, and in my opinion, it is open to abuse uh, a little bit. However, that's a subject for another video. A few friends of mine, well I say friends, people I correspond with every so often here on YouTube who I greatly admire uh, for their intellect and real commitment to the subjects that they study. The Crypt Queen and, well I was thinking it was Hannibal Barker, anyway, they were discussing uh, sexual assault and serial killers and a few other things and they were discussing what kinds of people become rapists, sexual assaulters, and serial killers? Now, obviously, a serial killer is a little beyond the purview of sexual futurist. However, you've got to understand about sexual assault and rape. There are several different kinds of people that commit it. Uh, there are people who have what appears to be a medical inability to uh, feel the emo feel emotions when it comes to other people. Now, these are known as psychopaths, sociopaths, and people with narcissistic personality disorder. These are all names for different variations on the same condition. You can't feel for other people. They look at you the way you would look at uh, a toolbox. They're just things. When they break, you repair them or you melt them down. You've got no feelings for the items in that toolbox. So what? You get another one. That's how they feel about people. The others, the other kinds of people who perpetrate sexual assault are people uh, who either have extraordinarily poor impulse control yet do have remorse or are victims of uh, some form of institutionalized trauma. Uh, and or and in some cases believe that if they don't perpetrate it again something even worse will happen to uh, them and possibly even the some other people uh, they may be involved with the last group I might add uh, specific are getting a lot rarer these days thankfully when I went on to the uh, Royal Women's Hospital uh, webpage here in Melbourne and I saw their uh, Casa House, yes that's what it's actually called, it's an acronym, Casa House uh, information and they were talking about how men can also be victims of sexual assault, big ups for them there, and how they usually use women uh, or female pronouns to the victims because statistically speaking they are still most likely the victims, I get that, that's fine, hey that's just statistics, you can't argue with it. However, and they were saying that women and men had the rights to speak out about their assault, which anyone who's uh, done any work with anyone who's ever been classified as having a mental disorder will tell you, not being able to talk about what's going on in your head will drive people crazy. What they did that I didn't like was that they classified uh, family members of being a risk of being uh, perpetrators of sexual assault without clarifying that it's actually the f that a family is the easiest people for a burgeoning sexual predator to get to first. It's simply a means of a uh, matter of opportunity and vulnerability, not, not of uh, predication or predisposition in most people. So I would like to put a shout out to anyone watching uh, this video for Sexual Futurist. Uh, if you know more about this subject, please chime in. This is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. We do need more voices to educate others. Comprehensive sex education uh, done either at home or at school stops people from having ridiculous myths about sex be uh, propagated around. And 
education about the kinds of mindsets that perpetrate assault. I'm not talking about she was really into me and she was really, really drunk and she passed out halfway through sex, so she was probably still okay with it. I'm talking about the people who see an innocent woman on her way to work or to school or back from whatever, they see an opportunity and they abduct her. That is entirely different. And when we can understand the differences in the mentalities, we will be a very, very vital step closer to giving these individuals the social response that will limit them from harming themselves or others and giving them, if they have the capacity, the tools to help, uh, help themselves do better in society without hurting other people. I'm Ozzy Griffin, this is a poster sexual futurist, and as I said, please, if you know more about this subject than I, and that's a lot of people, I'd love to hear from you on this channel.